we don't go through life without an impact. And it's nice to, to try to walk softly through life and be conscious of what we do, but we do have an impact. And so I think it's important for an individual to realize that and then come to grips with it the best they can. The, the plaque is, uh, it's a reminder to people that live here that the Utes used to be here and uh, maybe that they should still be here and that they could be here, you know, again at some point. In honor of and to the Ute people whose feet once walked this valley and whose eyes gazed upon its beauty, may you always remain proud and strong. Forever shall you be welcome here. <clears throat> they love this place and it sure would be wonderful if they could still be here. And it was interesting, you know, we had, had the rock here and we didn't have the plaque in place yet, but we had a little dedicating ceremony. And this one uh, elder, he was speaking. And uh, so we're kind of all around this area and he's standing out here and he's talking to us. And he said something that I remember to this day. And he turns and he points this way up over this mountain here to the north. This is the direction that Telluride's in. And he pointed up here and he says, they are right over there and they want what you have. I wish you better luck than we had. Now, how can that not touch you? And how can you not you know, feel moved by something like that? This man was just speaking. He didn't have this prepared. He was just speaking from his heart. And when he said something like that, I wish you better luck than we had. That's pretty moving, don't you think? Pretty telling statement. You think they don't have a connection to this area still? Well, they do. And I hope we remember that. So maybe that plaque will act as a little reminder that, that we need that presence here. And not just for our benefit on the, the white side of the spectrum, but as a whole. You know, it's, we're missing something here. They're like locals that have been misplaced. I don't know if anybody's ever come to Ophir from way far away and just said, well, I'm going to Ophir, Colorado and move there. Most people come from the area and they're looking for a place. Um, I think the main attraction is our backyard. And if you were to look around us, we we're just surrounded by national forests on all sides. And it's very vertical. Uh, environment here and so people that love the outdoors whether it's hiking climbing skiing snowboarding fishing hunting you know, I mean this is a just a wonderful place for anybody like that well look at that new satellite dish <laughs> Ofer itself for me uh, it wasn't so much the skiing, the verticality, I, I was aware of Ophir, I'd been over here a number of times, but uh, my wife and I had started a family and we had, we needed to get a place. Of course, as soon as we got over here and started spending time and uh, building, it was immediately, you know, as soon as you spend a day here and see the light change from morning to evening, it's, you know, a love affair. And then when we did get here too, it was also like a big sigh of relief. It was like, ah, this is wonderful, this is great. And so it was kind of a roundabout love affair for me and Oprah. So you get in the, you got your ski pass, right? Yeah. And? That's all we need now is a big Colorado yeah. blizzard. Well, uh, I suppose the most distinguishing characteristic is its smallness and quaintness and its, uh, form of government, which is Home Rule General Assembly. So anyone that goes to a meeting that's registered to vote, a resident, has equal say. So uh, an issue will come up, whether it has something to do with dogs or uh, land reclamation or you know, street parking, regulate, anything. Um, everybody gets to vote on it. It's easier to get an idea talked about here than it is maybe in a, in a big city. It's kind of like, like I said, in a small pond, you take a rock and you throw it out there, you're gonna see the ripples of that. 
you're standing next to the ocean and the surf's going and everything's moving and you throw a rock out there, nobody even saw it. And nobody sees the effect, it's, so it's harder. And I think it's, it's nice living in a small community because of that.